Everybody knows what a Game Boy is, and everybody knows the type of games that you could play on a Game Boy. But in this day and age, with everyone price gouging every single piece of tech that they possibly can, it's probably best not to buy a Game Boy. But you could buy a budget Android device. Let's talk about it. For context, I was watching GadgetCast, and the two hosts that are on there are Travis and Greg, which each have their own tech YouTube channels. And Greg mentioned that he just bought an analog pocket, which is a glorified Game Boy. And I wanted to look into getting something like that. After looking for something as simple as a Game Boy Color, I kind of lost my interest. And that's because, yes, I mean a Game Boy Color that doesn't have a backlit screen, and it doesn't have actual colors in the screen. Yeah, that Game Boy Color, it's about $100 to $150 to buy one right now, which is insane. I would never pay that price for something that does not even have a backlit screen. The next choice was to look into some emulators which are sold on Amazon or places like AliExpress, but even looking into those, it's hard to find a good emulator for under $100, so it didn't seem like it was worth it to buy something that I'd also have to load my own games onto. So the next thing that I did was pulled out my old Android device. And the reason that this worked out so well is because I already had it. I didn't really have to pay for anything here. So all I had to do from that point is find a couple of apps that would help me emulate some Game Boy games onto my Android device. This was actually much easier than I expected it to be. I only needed two apps, one of them being Z Archiver, which I would just download the ROM off the internet and then load it onto my phone and it would be in a zip file. And I would go into Z Archiver and open that zip file through there. That's literally the only use for Z Archiver. From there, you move on to RetroArch, and the very first thing that you want to do on RetroArch is load up a core. So if you're looking for a Game Boy Color game, you're going to look for a core that says Game Boy Color. For me, I went with Gambit, which is just a type of emulator. After that, you can go back to the main menu, and then you're going to go to Load Content. Once you go into Load Content, it should show the files that were created with RetroArch. And the one that I have to click on is Storage slash Emulated slash Zero. So I'll click on that. Then I will go down to my downloads because I had just recently downloaded the game that I wanted to play. And then the unzip file should be right there. And you'll pretty much just click on the game that you want to play and then the game will load up. And there is this custom layout which I prefer to use mostly because it has this fast forwarding feature. The only reason I like the fast forwarding feature is because it helps me get through the game a little bit faster. Because what I'm playing mostly is Pokemon. So going through these battles, it's a lot easier to just skip through all the dialogue that I have to read and just do a battle with my Pokemon, clicking on, you know, what type of attack I'm going to use. After playing about halfway through Pokemon Crystal, I realized that it might be a good idea to upgrade my Android device before I started getting too deep into the game. And the main reason for that is because the phone that I'm using still has micro USB. And in 2022, no one should be using micro USB. That is the main reason that I would not recommend a Fire Tablet to anyone because if you're gonna buy a Fire Tablet, micro USB is gonna charge for so long and it's gonna break. That's pretty much it. They're, they're not good ports, they're not reliable. So what I did is I went out and I looked for a budget Android device that I could find. I don't need to be using it as a main phone, so as long as I can get it and connect it to Wi-Fi, I pretty much have everything I need. So although it wasn't completely intentional to be upgrading my phone so much, I actually got a much better phone. I ended up picking up the Samsung Galaxy A02s, and it has a much bigger screen, it charges with USB-C. The only downside of it is it only has one single speaker port on the bottom, but this is a great upgrade. Going from this phone to this phone, yeah, it's definitely worth the money that I paid. I found this at Walmart under a straight talk plan for about $50. But since I don't need to connect it to a straight talk plan, it is only going to cost me the $50. I don't need to be paying for data or phone calls because I do all that on my regular phone. So after about two weeks of using this as my dedicated Game Boy, I am not upset whatsoever. And I'm really glad that I didn't end up spending $100 to $150 on a Game Boy Color because now I have a phone that has a perfect screen, a long battery life, and it charges with USB-C, which is pretty much everything that the analog pocket offered. And I'm happy. I'm playing through Pokemon Red right now. I've made quite a bit of progress, and that's why I think that you should buy an Android phone instead of buying Game Boy. I'll see you guys next time. You have a good rest of your day, and be safe.